Um, yeah, so we had a few callers um, during the, the uh, music break um, asking us about this awesome band that we have in the studio there, um, giving the devil his due. So there, we're going to start um, the interview with these guys. Um, each one, please, tell us your name and what is that you do in the band. Uh, I'm Josh. I do uh, guitar and now, I guess, vocals, mostly lead, thanks to uh, this decision. I'm Brandon, and I pretty much just hit things. <laughs> I, think, I think that means he's a drummer. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm Robert. I'm the bass player. Nice. Uh, and kind of backup vocals now, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's regrettably. Wow. Shut your face. So, um, you can tell we know what we're doing. Yeah, Robert has been here before. Um, yeah, he was, was here your, a couple what, of months ago. Yeah. Yeah. With, uh, with no more and uh, a stay ho. <laughs> 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 I keep calling him a different name. Uh, Stevie. Stevo, I think. Yeah, Stevo. Yeah. Is the same name as that guitar player in the infomercials? Uh, I don't know what the caveman is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people were asking about this band already. So tell me about um, Given the Devil His Due. How did the band get together? How did the magic I think happen? Where you take over? That's Brandon right there. Yeah. Um, so somewhere around 2009, 2010, uh, if our chubby ginger was here, he could help tell me, uh, tell the story with me. But he's not, so I'm going to do the best I can. So it started out as like a little solo project, and blah, blah, blah. It happened between me and him. And a drum machine, literally somebody standing behind with a laptop, pressing a space bar to cue uh, Reason tracks, drum tracks and stuff. And then I realized, hey, I'm just going to play drums. Since I programmed the drums, it made sense to me. I don't know why, but it worked. So um, here we are today after many, 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 many different incarnations. What do you say? Incarnations. It's like that hot cocoa. <laughs> It's not a hard word, Brandon. <laughs> I think we've had at least 17 different members, like three girls. like One girl. He's a three. Well, if you want to... Oh, I'm not even going to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, the girl had two boobs, so that's about three girls. So it counts right? as three. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> that, that doesn't sense. even make sense. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Like no. Your math is way the fuck off. <laughs> Yeah, I stopped at about Geometry 1B in high school, so... <laughs> <laughs> what are your influences as um, um, individually? What, how did you become, uh, you know, metalheads? Or, Scarlett uh, Johansson. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. She had everything to do with me being uh, anywhere near metal. Uh, have you ever seen The Avengers? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Avengers did not inspire you to get into metal. <laughs> okay. well, I don't know about that. I mean, like, if you just look at her ass and that, like... That made that you hot, you know, like that movie black came out thing, <laughs> last year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it didn't make sense either. <laughs> no, I, I was, I'll, we'll go to Josh for this one. He's he's got the best uh, musical know what of I would say all of us. Man, I I didn't even get into music until high school because I was like the nerd that got picked on a lot. <laughs> I didn't even have hair back then, so oh, I had no fallback. I had it. like a buzz cut and uh, hand-me-down Goodwill clothes. I, I was... For people that don't know Josh, he has got some of the most beautiful fucking hair I've ever seen in my entire yes, life. Yes, I'm jealous. Yeah, yeah honestly. Yeah. I mean, it's Pantene like Pro locks of love my of hair red. It's about a foot and a half <laughs> shampoo commercial right here. You can here. tell he masturbates his hair every night. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> where do you get these Yeah, where <laughs> <laughs> It's so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> he got all red all, all of a sudden. He just squirts the shampoo in his hand. He just strokes his hair and he's out. <laughs> That's why it's so nice. Well, if you, if you had hair and weren't balding, I'm sure you would do the same thing. I, I started balding kindergarten. It was an early oh. birth. <laughs> it was see, a you see how he's wearing a, a hat right now, Alex? I felt like our influences fell into hair Oh, suddenly. look at that. Aww. Look at that. He's not balding. I wish you guys... I wish you, he's you, still are you, are you... Are you... What? He's, he still has a, a Do you few, not see this receding hairline right here? This is a receding hairline. <laughs> I think it brought suits on, him. Like it brought on by stress by me. Beard. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the question. Yes. <laughs> Metal influences. Apparently it's hair. Hair. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, has Ronnie James Dio. <laughs> and it, it's kind of an evolution from there because like the only place you can go when you're hurt is music. And I fell into just about everything I could. I listened to Yellow Card, Linkin Park, and Metallica, I just want and P.O.D. Now. And it was weird. <laughs> like, I had no specific genre I listened to. And that's why I love being in this band, is there is no definite genre. We're just like this crazy melting pot of metal. And it sounds a little insane. But I love it. It's uh, a cool band. I actually got um, good... Um, 
I guess, good references for um, giving Who the hell did that? He's due from this um, website called At the End of Radio. Oh, really? Yeah, they do a, a metal podcast. I forgot what it's called. But they were playing your music, actually. There's some wow. sexy bitches there. Yeah, they're from San Jose, I think. They're awesome. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. They, they told me that you guys were awesome. I'm like, yes, I'll be having them in my show. Hope you're jealous. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, they should be jealous. They should be, definitely. I they get the best fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, so how about um, you, as far as musical influences? <laughs> and don't say the Avengers, because I have no. nothing to do with it. Uh, my music, I'm usually like more of a punker kind of guy. Like I'm more into like No Effects, Jughead's Revenge, stuff like that. Actually, Jughead's Revenge was like the first actual like hard kind of music I ever listened to. All Apologies was like my song for a good year and a half. And it actually, Clinton, no less, was the guy that got me into that. He he gave me that CD. That was my first CD like ever. For, like, a good real music. cousin. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I was just about to say that he's a good cousin, and yet you don't. No, he's he really, like, <laughs> he, he really is the person that got me into the the type of music that I love listening to today. Like the, the stuff that I thoroughly enjoy that really speaks to me on a certain level. He's the one that got me into it. So, uh, White Trash, Two Heaps, and a Bean was the first CD I ever listened to all the way through. <laughs> no effects. It wasn't, that wasn't a racist comment. No, no, no. I would have been repeating that, that title. But whole is, it... Like, is it racist? Or no, but that, that, was the, that was the first CD <laughs> that I listened to all the way through that was like semi-hard. That was just like, hey, oh, oh this is punk. Okay, I, I, yeah, I could totally get into this. Nice. And then from there, I started getting into like Slayer and, you know, yeah, what a name drop, right? Slayer. <laughs> No, uh, you went from punk to Slayer? No way! Well, no, like, no, I mean, those were the bands that like everybody would always talk to. And then when System of a Down came out with uh, Toxicity, mm -hmm. that was the CD that just totally got me into this more heavy metal, like heavy. And yet, a lot of people don't didn't consider System of a Down to be legitimately metal, but to me, it was. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, like, how how can you? That's 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 the one thing about genres that, that like, pisses me off. You I know. Put, you put somebody in a in a certain genre and all of a sudden they're not good anymore it's like go fuck yourself like this <laughs> big stereotype I mean, yeah uh, just to just to piggyback off that a little bit like on the same subject and kind of off the same subject like i remember in high school people used to like make this huge shit about like slipknot being like new metal being lumped into like lincoln park and stain or whatever if you listen to slipknot slipknot is pretty much the influence of all heavy metal a lot of the heavy metal nowadays, either good or bad, but Slipknot was fucking heavy. Yeah. I don't. I don't think. I'm not. I'm going to disagree with you on that one. Like, I don't think there's like influence for much of anything. <laughs> like there, uh, there are a couple like slide off bands from that, but like it goes way deeper than that. Oh, Slipknot, know, like, Slipknot's just there. When I first heard that, Slipknot, yeah. that blew my goddamn mind. No, I'm not taking away from them. They're fucking good, but I mean, hey. Well, it only it blew me away because the heaviest thing I had heard up to that point was Linkin Park. And like people screaming, shut up, was heavy. <laughs> so like when Slipknot comes on, they're just like, fuck your fucking fuck everything, fuck that. And it's just like, holy shit. <laughs> the fuck? It, so go ahead, Brandon. Let's let's hear what your musical influences were. Um, I I've pretty much been a a metalhead and a punker pretty much my entire life. Um, the first thing I remember hearing as a kid, like a little kid, like probably like five years old, is my deadbeat dad picked me up for a visitation one time and he put me in his cheap ass Camaro. We have a caller. He hold on, hold on, hold on. And he put me in his Camaro, and the first thing he put on was Slayer. Put the collar on. Death. Put the collar on. Okay, so who's the collar? Slayer, got it. Collar. Yes, who's the collar? Oh my god. Hello. Mutiny Radio. Hello. Hello. Who is this? Hello. Hello. Who's this? You're uh, on. Talk to Mutiny us. Radio? It yes. is. This is Kevin with a call for the band. What's Hi, up? Hi, Kevin. What's up? What's going on? How you doing tonight? Good. How you guys doing? Doing pretty outstanding. I had a couple mixed drinks before we got here, and well, I did. <laughs> but uh, that yeah. explains the over talking, you know. I must be talking to Brandon if you had a few mixed drinks. No, no. Brandon's not allowed to drink. He's driving. Yeah. Who oh. wouldn't let him even touch oh, alcohol okay. right now? <laughs> so he had the nice diet light Schweppes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty much. Cool. So do you have I a question for me? A couple of questions for you guys, if you don't mind. Sure. Shoot, shoot it. 
Well, I know Brandon, he promotes a lot of shows, which my band was able to play one of his. But uh, as far as your, uh, I know you have like a big show coming up here pretty soon, which is going to be the bands apparently on your record label. Well, uh, what it what it is is uh, I am in the planning stages of a kind of a small time festival over uh, in Stockton. Um, I want to clarify the record label bit. A little. Yeah, the, I, I actually <laughs> stopped doing a record label kind of shtick. Now I'm just uh, for a side gig. I'm kind of doing a, a booking and management. That's uh, devastated booking and management, but it's still labeled cool. under, under uh, devastated records and such. But um, other than that, I'm trying to put on a festival basically for the kids. Like, I want kids to come out and experience all sorts of different types of music, like uh, hard rock, punk rock, death metal. Like, I'm even trying to get a few solo artists out there and some acoustic artists as well, plus sponsors and ven vendors. Um, I'm currently working with a guy right now. His name is uh, Byron Sticky Tips. He uh, is actually making an awesome donation with some uh, banners and some artwork. So. Dropping your name, Byron. Hope you're listening. Cool, man. And the, the second question I have is, uh, I know there's a lot of metal that has come out of the Bay Area. Do you see any bands coming out in the near future that will be under the likes of, like, Death Angel and Exodus and bands like that? Um, in my opinion, one of the more promising bands I've seen in the uh, Bay Area and you know, around the bay so far for me is uh, symbolic. Yeah, symbolic. Those guys fucking have some amazing chops, man. They are fucking good. Cool. You know who else I was impressed with was uh, Scar Canvas. I listened to uh, some of their stuff on, on Facebook, and uh, we, we put them on one of our shows, just like last-minute thing, didn't really get a chance to listen to them well. It was like, okay, like, fuck, we need to get a band to play on the show because we're, we're down one band. Mm -hmm. Got reference to me. I, I looked them up. I put them on one of our shows, and holy crap! Where they are they did, from? They're, uh, I want to say uh, Stockton, Stockton Modesto. yeah, Modesto area. They just blew our minds. And they for got, our caller, what's the name of your band? Uh, the name of my band is Junkyard Academy. Uh, we're kind of like a pop rock band, and Brandon was doing a bunch of promotion stuff around here in Vallejo, and uh, had asked us to play one of the shows or whatever, and it was cool. Very cool. Yeah, it, that was that was a different kind of thing for me because I'm used to just booking uh, heavy metal and whatnot. So, so oh, that's what you told me beforehand. So it was really cool, though. Yeah, thank you. Mm. Yeah, well, thank you so much for supporting and giving the devil his due. And I hope to hear from your band as well. Hopefully, you guys can come out and talk to us. The You're always welcome. Academy. Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kevin. Oh, thanks, no Kevin. problem, mate. Thanks. Right. Uh, thanks for listening. You're welcome. Bye. -bye. All right. That's that awesome. Cool. I love it when people call in with like really those, nice yeah, questions. Those are rather, pleasant questions. Rather Thank you, just, Kevin. Questions. Rather than just call and say, "Hey, you guys fucking suck." <laughs> okay, so we we got the serious questions out of the way. Now, where's all the uh, zany bonker questions? Where I know. Where are your friends? I almost want to get back to Angel of Death. Last time they were harassing no less. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm still waiting for uh, for no less to, or to call. No, no less, no where's, more. Where's <laughs> his name? Somewhere in the middle. George Spooner at nowhere. <laughs> No, George is going to rip my ass if he calls you. Yeah. You're supposed to call <laughs> oh me, you cocksucker. <laughs> For people texting me, actually, I, I am not giving away the tickets to see Tijuana, no, but uh, if you text me, you have to call. The number is 415-550-0511. You get and some free tickets to see Giving the Devil is Due. Yeah, where are, they play where are you guys playing? The Red Hat. When? We'll just give them away. On the 17th. Nice. And that will be my birthday show, Brandon's birthday show. So. February, you said? Yeah, February 17th. Cool, yep. it's a Sunday. Sunday, huh, awesome. early Please. show. Come Brandon, give us Brandon's, birthday, Brandon's birthday show has also been nicknamed It Should Have Been an Abortion Show. Oh, yeah. that's messed up. <laughs> it's true, because it's going to come out looking ugly. That's messed up. So how about we play some music by giving the devil his due? That sounds like Please. an awesome idea. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, how We're about sorry, the, guys. How about Didn't mean you guys have to listen to this. <laughs> How about track number one? What is it called? Or do you guys want? Actually, let's do uh, let's do track number three if you can. Yeah, that would be that would oh, be perfect because track number cage, one right? leads into track number two. What is it called? It's called Cage of Glass. That's the first song I wrote for this band, except for the lyrics. Is track number three Cage awesome. of Glass? I think it is. I think that's Cage yeah. of Glass. So you're listening to Mutiny Radio on Rockettes.net out in LA. We'll be back with Giving the like Devil that. His Due. Let's kill my ass 
<laughs> with your uh, friend Alex and th that was the band Giving the Devil His Deal what was the name of the song? that was Cage of Glass nice that's an awesome song you were just telling me during the break that you have to learn your lyrics yeah how did that happen? <laughs> interesting interesting well, um, I guess the story goes that uh a day or two ago, we actually just lost our singer. Uh, last we didn't actually. It was last night. It's not like a lost dog. It's like, like, where did he actually, go? We actually fired our singer last night. Not, not. It wasn't. It wasn't anything personal. It just he wasn't what we were looking for as a band. Um, wow. We we asked him to step up on a couple things that he was doing wrong and just small things too. yeah it, it wasn't really like major things but like it was major to us yeah like, mm. let's go ahead and take that we call. have a caller let's, yeah, see, let's see who it is no he didn't <laughs> mutiny radio hey am i on the air yeah you're on the air uh, what's, up, man? Right what's up hey guys it's michael from hemo talks and calling in what's up dude cool Hi. Show. thank you michael do you have some questions for the band uh, yeah, so I was listening a little bit earlier, so Josh is doing vocals now? A little bit. Um, a little bit. Like, me and Brandon are going to have to do an even split because we have a show on the 17th, and we can't just drop it because it's his birthday show, so we're going to have to figure something out, and uh, I'm, like, the next best thing. We had a practice so. last night where... Uh, we we tried it out as a three piece. Jo jo yeah, I, I just jo like or... saying the cadences, yeah. not even the words, and it sounded pretty good. I, as as Brandon put it, if it were rock band, we scored maybe a seventy six percent. Specifically, <laughs> yeah, specifically, he rounded the number. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, okay. like you know, we I mean we play we play for fun, but we're also a serious band. So like. You know, we try very hard not to let a lot of things stop us. So, and that includes, I guess, losing our singer. I mean, no disrespect. Of course, to you, but just when you get when you're handed lemons, you got to make lemonade, right? Yep. 
Or throw them back at somebody. <laughs> Sport it right in the live size. Depends on what kind of lemons they are, too. Like, are those shitty me. lemons that you get down in, like, Florida that taste like oranges? <laughs> I, I have those at home. Yeah, that you're sucks. right. sucks. Yeah. Have you tried them in a beer? They suck. Yeah. It tastes nasty. Yeah. <laughs> but I digress. I have not, but that sounds... Killer. No, but, uh, Brian, Brian, not, not, not those, just like lemons in a. The, the loss of Brian was it's, it. It sucks, but at the same time, like it's it's something that we feel that was totally just gonna make the band just a little bit better because we're we're not really a big um, like CD kind of band. We play much better live than we ever think we could possibly do on a CD. We have so much energy and so much talent to extrude out to the the crowd and just let them see whatever we got going on for us that night that I don't think a CD or anything like that will ever be able to capture it so and Brian I don't no disrespect to Brian but he just wasn't putting out what we what we try and put out there he he was he was kind of quiet didn't really talk to other bands and as unfortunate as it was cuz he was a great guy he's he I'm talking about him like he's dead but, uh, <laughs> no, he was, he, he's death he's an death. awesome dude. I love him to death, and we're we're still all going to be friends. But at the same time, like he he just wasn't what was right for giving the devil his due. I'd so. still wish him well on like future projects, though. Like, yeah, if like he if can he, find another uh, band that works out for him, then you know, best exactly. of luck to him. I, I Seriously, hope he carries on. I, I hope he uh, takes everything he learned and all the experiences he had with us and transcends it into something else. That'd be awesome. Sure. Yeah. Gotta well, find that. Gotta find that front man. Yeah, we're on the hunt. And we're after you. For sure. (laughs) (laughs) So if you're a versatile and talented vocalist between the age... You don't even have to be talented. (laughs) <laughs> just saying. Just be really energetic and very upfront with people. Like, do not shy away. Yeah, hey, Paul Bailoff proved that you could suck vocally, but if you're a great front man, then you could become a legend. Yeah, exactly. That's true. There you go. Speaking That's true. of really great front men, who wants to get into this conversation? You guys remember Neil Turbin? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this story again. Oh, yeah, this story again. <laughs> All right, go, go ahead, Robert. Uh, Fuck Neil Turman. Thank you. That's it. Oh, That's man. all. So, CJ, where are you at? <laughs> Caller, um, your name is Mike? Yeah. Okay, w- which band do you play with again? Hemotoxin. Motherfucking nice. Hemotoxin. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for calling, for supporting, giving the devil his due, and um, hope to see your band as well. And you're always welcome here at Mini Radio with your friend Alex or... Whenever, you know, just let us know. And send us your music. Um, you can send it to music at mutinyradio.org. It is good fucking times down here. Right. Yeah, yeah, it is. Like, especially I highly me. suggest it. <laughs> Thank you, you have so my much. endorsement. Right. Thank you so much for calling, Mike. All right, see you guys. Bye, Mike. What were we talking about before this? Neil Turbin. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so anyways... <laughs> That guy's a douchebag. I, I know you reach <laughs> all the way down. And we have another... Oh, let's oh, do man. it. He's yeah. just popular tonight. Let's <laughs> oh, wow. speak a little Spanish. Mutiny Radio. Buenos dias. Hello. Hola. Hello. 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 You're on the air. Hey, fucking... Faggot, how are you doing? Oh, who's this? Joe! <laughs> Joe! Oh my what's God? up? We're guitarist! Hey, what's up? <laughs> How's the chicken wing place tonight? Too bad you couldn't be out oh. here, you know, hanging out. Yeah, are you off work and... right now? Yeah, I'm at home now. All right, cool. Hurry up and get out here. You got... Um, oh, you still got an hour. An hour and 15 minutes. You can make it down here for the last 15 minutes. Hurry up. <laughs> Run. Good sir. You can lick my balls. I am uh, not going to come out Don't there. turn me with good time, sir. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> hey, let's, let's go ahead and talk about that. Remember the first show I played with you guys? <laughs> yeah, you totally licked his balls. No, man. I didn't lick his balls. <laughs> <laughs> Came close. They were in my mouth. <laughs> With my teeth wrapped no, around him. You remember that? You remember that joke? Biting me, uh, almost, almost on my dick. Yes. Yeah. yeah you, put your, you put your dick in front of my face. You said something God. smart, so I fucking I bit your dick. Hey, I didn't. Hey, I liked it. Whatever. Oh, nice. Doesn't mean you're gay. Yeah. Was it like? In, uh, it's only gay if you get hard. Is it like hazy? You did touch my tonsils though. <laughs> Was it like an initiation type of thing or no. hazing? He was, yeah, hazing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I hadn't played in a band in almost ten sure. years. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
That didn't sound like a valid excuse. Um, so is this your guitar player? Yes, yes it, it is. is. Nice. Thank you for calling. He is the other red in the band. Yeah. So the yeah, big red. Yeah, the other two you, ever seen, you ever seen Mikey from uh, American Chopper? <laughs> yes. I'll show you a picture later. He literally looks like the red-headed version of Mikey. It's like American if me Chopper. and him had like a love child, it would be Joe. <laughs> I look like an Irish Viking. That's <laughs> Don't give yourself that much credit, Joe. Come on now. In order to be a Viking, you actually have to be in battle. The only thing you battled with was a couple donuts this morning. Oh, oh that was harsh, man. That's not oh, that. We're going to have a suicide. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody in my fucking band likes me. No. <laughs> hey, according to your brother, there has to be a suicide on the air tonight. Hey, oh, Joe. Joe, yeah, here. hey. Joe, you uh, ready to kill yourself for the sake of the band? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Love you. Never mind, drop that one. We're just kidding. <laughs> no, no, I actually saw that post. I'm sorry, gingers can't die. That's uh, they have true. no soul. That's yeah, true. that's right. It wouldn't do any good. Gotcha. Yeah, but that's like the weirdest fucking thing about being in this band. Like, okay, Josh here is like the, the most gorgeous ginger redhead <laughs> ever. His his well, locks, the, the hair that he's got growing on his head, just absolutely gorgeous. I'm I in love with his hair. Me yeah. and this dude go out to like lunch and shit. Like, we <laughs> hang out. He is like my best friend. Like, me and him hang out and we'll go to like Chili's or like... You know, KFC name drops. Not Chili's anymore. Us. They kicked him out for yeah, not having him. ID. Yeah, oh. I didn't have my ID one time. Well, I had three forms of ID, but two of them were expired and one didn't have a birth date on it. So fuck Chili's. <laughs> you go fuck yourself. But KFC and shit like that. Anywhere we go, we get mistaken. Like the the, the waitress or waiter will come up and be like, "Oh, so what will you and the missus have tonight? Uh, oh, can you look him in the face, please?" Oh, it's uh, even better when I go places with my mom or with my girlfriend because they'd be like, "What are you ladies having today?" I mean, oh. Uh, Never mind. I'm walking away for a while. Here goes my tip. Josh is kind of like a good-looking Toki from Death Club. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then, but, but he's got red hair. So true. He's got red hair. He's a ginger. And then he got Joe, who looks like Mikey from American Chopper with red hair. Yep, yep. And then when when Brian was in the band, he looked like David Spade. And, <laughs> who was the other guy? Brian's Ron already Weasley. told us he looks like David Spade, so that's yeah. not even bad. No, right? who was the other one? He looked like Ron somebody Weasley. else. Ron Weasley. Who? Ron Weasley. Yeah, Ron <laughs> Weasley. Yeah. It's like David Spade and Ron Weasley from Harry Potter had a fucking love child. Brandon, and I, I'm sorry to put this out on the air, Brandon, but he looks like, you know, Corky from Life Goes On? Oh, Corky, Corky from Life Goes On and uh, Toby Maguire had a love child. Okay, okay, okay. And I look like a fat Fred Durst. <laughs> he really is. He looks like, like okay, fat Durst. I wish you see the Toby Maguire. The Corky. Oh, that was so Corky great. Toby Maguire. We uh, had a show with Blacklight Burns, which is um, West you know, Borland. West Borland he's the guitar player from Limp Bizkit. That's his offshoot band. It's the Black Light Burn. They are one of the most awesome. Yeah, fucking and bands you've we ever took seen a photo life. with them. And if someone wasn't looking at it close enough, they could probably see like Limp Bizkit and West Borland in a picture together. Yeah. <laughs> you <John. Fred> Durst, <laughs> West like, wow, Fred Durst really put some no, he, weight on. Uh, West, West Borland himself actually came up to me uh, like right after we were done with our set, and he's like, "Hey, I don't want to sound disrespectful or anything, but you kind of look like Fred, <laughs> like uh, Durst." He's like, yeah. I was like, just don't talk to me anymore. Oh, like, oh, that's messed up. He's like, no, but if, you know, if you guys want to hang out, we're going to be drinking later, blah, 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 blah. Wes Borland, one of the coolest fucking dudes you could ever possibly meet in your entire life. Word. His band, Black Light Burns, one of the coolest fucking bands you could ever possibly meet in your entire life. That they, was a great show. They headlined that empty. show. People, people stuck around. Then he invited us out. Like, we were just hanging out in a hotel, like... Like lobby, what, what, like a gallery or whatever yeah. the fuck it was. It was like a conference room. <laughs> yeah, it was a conference room, but like he he was just cool as shit. He just hung around and talked about his equipment and like anything that we had questions about. He sat around, took a picture with us, and like yeah. was just cool as shit. And, and Joe fell asleep during their set, like an asshole. Oh, and it, like, it, it was so bad that their merch lady actually had to get out of her booth and take a picture of him <laughs> against the sleeping. wall, Aww. sleeping. <laughs> He, he would he would be asleep during their songs and then wake up when they were done and be like I'm okay. <laughs> so by, by the love way, you Joe. By the way, for the record, that was the best show that nobody was at. <laughs> yeah, that was a great show, but it was like just like fans of Blacklight Burns and then like the other bands were there. It, it was and that just, was it. It was just us, nothing but losers, and Blacklight Burns and. 
The witch was. They wrong. left. They oh, played yeah, and they the left. The witch was right. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about that. They them were like the too happy to show. just get out of there because everyone thought they looked like Marilyn Manson. Oh. Well, no, the guitarist looked like Marilyn Manson. Yeah. No, he didn't want to admit it. Giant yeah. fucking tall gay Marilyn Manson. Oh my god, the whore guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did this. He did this weird like reindeer prance. <laughs> he did. It was like he did fucking stomp like, on one foot. That's not even a gay joke. Right. He actually yeah. would do that. He would open yeah. his mouth and he would just do this weird like whore. Type oh move. Oh my god! <laughs> you guys are too much. Oh <laughs> hey Joe, hang up. We gotta we gotta do other shit now. Thank since you're you so not much here. for coming. Oh, love, you, love you, Joe. We love you, Joe. It's practice. been awesome talking to you, Joe. Hey, it was good talking to you guys. Thank you guys have a good night. Thank you for calling, Joe. We'll Keep see you later. Thanks. No problem, man. <laughs> Better be at practice later. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it's been awesome well i have a few shout outs to people texting me yeah don't text me if you want the tickets you actually have to call um to go see tijuana no next uh, we have another caller <laughs> yeah callers <laughs> popular <Love> it. <coughs> me, me radio hola bueno no the princess is not here ¿Cómo estás? hello they hung up they hung up cocksucker <laughs> Don't give them that much credit. I know. Yeah, well, <laughs> if you want to win the tickets, actually, to go see Tijuana No this um, next Friday, the 15th at Elbow Room, you have to call me, 415-550-0511. How about we play some more music by uh, you guys, giving the devil his due? I want to send shout-outs to uh, our friend Manuel. He's listening out in San Jose to all our friends. San Jose? In Stockton yeah. and... Um, That's a good place. Lodi. Stockton! And He's mentioning I. Sons of Anarchy all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only reason we have why I like caller. it. caller. Yeah, callers. Yeah. Hello. Me, me radio. Don't hang up. Hello? 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 Who's this? What are you guys doing? <laughs> this is... Uh, we're doing a radio this show. This is no more. I recognize that voice. He calls <laughs> no me all the time. Won't leave me alone. No less? No more. Hi. How you doing, Clinton? Hi, Clinton. Nice. Want to call and harass you guys? You yeah. Should. Do. You should. Please harass us. You guys having fun? Alex, are they being good? Um, yeah, we're definitely doing well now that you called. Go fuck yourself. What are you, my father? <laughs> yeah, I have, to. I have to watch out, you know, for you guys. Why? Yeah, they're trouble. They're, they're definitely trouble. <laughs> good looking I'm, trouble, I'm though. I'm too small to be trouble. <laughs> you know what sucks, Clinton? Is you got, what? like, the worst genes in our family ever. Like, you're hideous looking. But you actually write decent songs. I'm incredibly, incredibly good fucking looking. He just and I, songs. yeah, I, just, I can't do shit as oh. far as music. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> so like, if we were to team up again, you know, maybe get some uh, make some, some really some, mediocre some, music together. Some of that that good OTW stuff. You remember that shit, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now that I know what I'm doing, you throw a drumstick at me again, though, I'll fucking cut your face off with a rusty butter knife. <laughs> I don't have any drums. I quit playing drums. You should quit playing music altogether. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you quit playing drums. That'll last about six months, so you get the hankering again. <laughs> yeah, leave drums to Brandon now. Yeah, so yeah, what? I'll, I'll get right on that. Yeah. <laughs> what are you working on right now? Um, are, are you having Being a man. any shows coming up? For me, yeah, I have a, a mini tour this weekend. Oh. Where are you going? Um, Nowhere. Fast. Red Bluff, Chico, and Sacramento. <laughs> Cool, go check them out. Do you know the names of the places where you're going? So that uh, The see. End Up Saloon, the Maltese, and I believe the Cave. Awesome. In the same order. Yeah, you should go check them out. But uh, I just wanted to say that, you know, you guys are terrible. You guys are the best Blue Oyster Cult cover band I ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, wait, wait, we're a Blue Oyster Cult cover band? Just keep doing what you're doing and chamber. have fun oh. at it. Yeah, we do all the Cold Chamber's greatest hits. Look at the fucking name. Cold Get the shit right. <laughs> <laughs> We're not a Hulk Hogan, all right? <laughs> Listen here, brother. Right, well, you guys have right. I'll see y'all soon. Thank you. Thank you so much for calling. Hey, Clinton, 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 Clinton. What? Clinton. Clinton. What? Hey. Good Go luck. fuck yourself. Oh, I will. Bye, oh, that's love right bye, there. Cousin. Good luck. Bye, cousin. Bye, bye. Bye, cousin. Bye. 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 b
have a track number one and two together, mm -hmm. and then something by my friends uh, from Lungs of a Blast Furnace, who were just talking about Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking talking yeah. about And then we'll be back, but before that, I want to send shout outs to my lovely friend, Latina Poblana. She's listening out in East LA. Um, thank you. Gracias por escuchar. No, thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you guys. That is awesome. Yeah. Listen all the way That's out there. That's reach right there. We'll you are super right. sweet for, you know, to be listening to us and all the bullshit that we're going to put you through <laughs> later on tonight. <laughs> just keep listening. Also, we love you. Also, shout out to my, my uh, beloved fan. She listens every single week. Her name is um, Carolina. She listens out in the oh, in Orange her. County. Actually. Yeah, she's the one that yeah. said that I was funny. Yeah. I love she's her. Thank you. Right oh, sweetheart. You're funny, Rob. They just you should it. look me up on Facebook. <laughs> He's yeah, single. Yeah, the, the, the photography page. If you go ahead and look that up, you go ahead and get sent right to my personal page, www.facebook.com, OTW Photography, well, or since, OTW Photog. Well, since we're on that veer before you go in, uh, anybody listening, come check us out and give us a like. Uh, we're www.facebook.com slash giving the devil is due. No, it's or, GTDHD, actually. Oh, yeah. I fucked yeah. that one up, too. <laughs> GTDHD. Thank you. Yeah. Hashtag shameless Go see promotion. them live. Go see them live. It's right a great right time. Now. It's even better.
to Mutiny Radio, uh, and I, I think I just condemned myself to hell. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> we had music from Giving the Devil His Due. That was track number one and number two. What is it called? That would be Legacy, Legacy and, and Tsunami. Tsunami. Nice. And then we had uh, our friends, Lungs of a Blast Furnace. Uh, shout out to my friend awesome. David. Yeah, they're pretty rad. I love that guy. The song was called What Have I Become? And then this last song is from our friends from Alpha Juliet from L.A. And the song was called Call for War. I think. <laughs> yeah. I think. I think. No, that's the name of the song. I'm pretty uh, sure. That's what we literally name. have to say about all our songs, too. Like, I think this I is... I think that's a trash A nose by end of the name would still smell. <laughs> yeah. That's how I just still describe all of our songs. I'm like, hey, that song that does the da 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 Yeah, that one. The da 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 That yeah. would also describe, like, three other songs. <laughs> yeah, that's the same da 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 do But that's why we pause and we're just like, no, 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 not that da 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 It goes into that da 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 It's like that one episode of Metalocalypse. Yeah, that one, yeah, okay. In terms of being in a metal band, I think that's, like, a first world problem, right? Oh, my God. world metal Speaking of which, I believe, in other news, I believe the lead singer from... Lamb of God was having a trial this week. Randy Blood, yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, what do you think about it? He's being actually charged with um, basically causing somebody's death. When yeah, manslaughter. That happened in the in the yeah. mosh pit. I mean, well, you're, it's your own fault if you're in the mosh pit. Tell me about it. There should be That's waivers. The there really should be. Death Clock has it right. Mutiny Radio. Yeah, this is fucking Neil Turbin <laughs> over in Los Angeles. What's up, faggot? Where's that fucking douchebag Robert at? He went to the bathroom, I think. <laughs> he has a bladder yeah, I problem. I just want to say, that dude's putting a bad name out for me, and I don't really fucking appreciate it. I had my lawyer try and get a hold of him, and he was like, okay, well, we'll go ahead and take care of all that shit. Kind of like I have a cold. one of my name through the dirt. Am I gonna get sued? Hey, 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 Neil. Come down um, to Los Angeles and see me. He can come fucking see me. Hey, hey, Neil. Whoa. Um, Mr. Mr. Neil. Uh, Mr. Neil. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I hate to break it to you, but uh, you were in Anthrax for about 15 minutes, and nobody cares. <laughs> that was the greatest thing that ever happened to Anthrax, motherfucker. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's why I started Death Riders, because we're so fucking awesome. And we have to play off of other people's shit, because we're that fucking awesome. That's why everyone Who? talks about you being it now, right? <laughs> Wait, what, what are we talking about in here? What's going on? Uh, I guess he just two. hang up. It was you, Neil Durbin. You, you just missed Neil Durbin. Are you fucking Durbin. serious? <laughs> yeah. We were out taking a bath or something. <laughs> I'm taking a whole bath. Yeah, <laughs> it took you long enough. <laughs> he wasn't just a regular pee. You probably took a bath. Oh, fucking it took forever. <laughs> Wait, so he called in? Yeah. Yeah. Am I gonna get sued? <laughs> no, he's still after me. If he can still get in contact with me, that's <laughs> www.facebook.com forward slash otw photog. <laughs> Come a, for us, Neil Turbin. A rash Masuvian. I know you're out there somewhere listening to this, getting all butt hurt because I just threw your name out there. Da 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 da. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh my god. What, what's his name? A rash be wiping? Yeah, something like that. Something like. <laughs> stuff. Do I mean, you guys want to send any special shadows besides yes, we Neil do. Turbin? <laughs> yeah. No, oh, I. Uh, first of all, I'll, I'll go ahead and start this off because I know you guys got a fucking long list. <laughs> uh, I do. Go ahead. For go sure. Ahead. I want to go like ahead and thank people. no less of United Defiance, War of Aggression, and the uh, acoustic shit that he does. Uh, no less, uh, Clinton. Thank you, brother. You're you're one of my very, 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 very best friends. You've been there for me every step of the way. Uh, Estebo, cocksucker. <laughs> Love you. From Falcon A. You better go ahead and get us one of them uh, Gilman shows again. That way we can rock it even harder than last time. <laughs> and yes, he is from uh, Sparrow B. Yes. <laughs> Falcon A, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I will see. The guys over at Scar Canvas, you guys fucking helped us out with an amazing show. You guys put it on amazingly well. Uh, who am I forgetting? Oh, those cocksuckers over there at, uh, as Calvary Comes. We did a show. We did two shows with them. The, the first show that we did with them was their first show ever. And they impressed the living dog shit out of us. They were incredibly good. Yeah, not bad for, for a show. Yeah, for never playing a show and just barely getting all their shit together. They did such an amazing job. I'm incredibly proud of them. Just awesome. Uh, my last shout-out goes to uh, The Evicted. I am so looking forward to hearing these guys come back. This is the, the one punk band that got me into actually wanting to play music rather than just listening to it. These guys wrote some fucking amazing songs that were all about my town. 
over over in Antioch. Oh. And uh, they they were just about it. They wrote fucking Big Jim problems. Uh, uh, in my youth, uh, the songs that just pretty much made me who I am today. Those guys, hey, cannot wait to see your guys' show. Fucking, I'll be there. That's that's heartfelt, man. I like that. Thank you. I know. Go for it, Josh. Uh, I almost got into that. Kind of you might have shed a tear. <laughs> Actually, I think my list is a little bit shorter because, like, my <laughs> friends are just like the ones I'm in bands with. So yeah, you know, given the devil's due, all old previous members you guys have helped carry this band to what it is now, and that includes uh, Here we go. Chris, Stephanie. Uh, Joe and uh, Joe, the guy. That Joe's was... a previous member. No, there's another Joe. <laughs> oh, yeah, the the button pusher. Oh another God. button pusher that was in the band before me that I don't even know. Uh, uh, David Vice. Uh, no, Rob wasn't in the band. Never mind, not him. Uh, who Never else? Never mind, not Am him. I forgetting anyone? <laughs> Brian. Brian. I still love <laughs> yeah, you, man. Hey, you know there was someone else. My other band, Grave Thirst, fucking love you guys. I can't wait to do yeah, shows with you Nick, again. Yeah, Francisco, you guys, hey, Francisco, you keep doing what you're doing, bro, and you're going to be fucking amazing. He's probably amazing. not even listening right now. I don't care. Nick that. probably is. <laughs> no offense Thank to you, Mexicans, man. but hey. Francisco's taking a siesta right Pollo now. Loco. A pollo Loco is in two pantalones. Hey. El Pollo Loco is not even Mexican. I'm sorry. El Pollo Loco? <laughs> that doesn't qualify. Did don't they say El Pollo Loco? Chicken in the <laughs> yeah, crazy chicken is in Francisco's pants. Oh, <laughs> yeah. okay, so you were basically yeah, translating. Yeah, it was El Pollo Loco. Oh, then you're right. I don't oh, know. He speaks Spanish. I don't know. Yeah. See, he knows about crazy chickens. I have español completamente. Right in the yo. middle of my name dropping, too. Yeah, I know. Sorry. That was your boys. He broke into Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's from my boys in Grey That goes on my list, too. Hey, Grey Thirst. It's a little cliche. Put that fucking recording out on whatever it is that you guys need to put it out on. That shit sounds great. He's still talking. It's okay. I'll let him go. Hey, I'll, All right. I'll stop talking the rest right. of the show. My girlfriend, Amanda, she's been in and out of my life for years now, and I'm surprised <laughs> she even puts up with me. Um, and I'm probably going to name drop the most esoteric metal band anyone's ever heard of. It sounds kind of hipster, but uh, Zeo is the band that has made me who I am right now. Love those and guys. it's it's yeah, it's Yeah, it's been an inspiration just listening to them. It'd be fucking phenomenal if they had even... If, if they heard that, because I would, I would literally get their tattoo... On my like episode. the middle of my chest. Quick, can we get a hashtag on Facebook? Anybody? <laughs> hashtag Zeo anal tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> right in my colon. Oh my god! Can you get a tattoo on your colon? Is it possible? It would probably if you, bleed if you a go lot. Ahead and, like, <laughs> yeah. You're literally gonna take all eight fingers, not your thumb. Your oh thumbs my are god! Fingers. It would be kind of like going to a gynecologist, <laughs> but like right yeah, you know, that, you know that like... duckbill thing that you get when you go to the gynecologist. That duckbill thing that it's really cold. <laughs> yeah. they, they tell you, you have to use on. that, like separate the oh, cheeks. Oh sorry, I asked. Oh my god! <laughs> oh shit! That's what I get for asking. With, the, with that, with that explanation over there, Alex, the host, is kind of like grimacing and like bending over, like oh, oh my Jesus. god. <laughs> but you guys should have seen the hand explanations. Of I know. Yeah, I wish there was a camera. <laughs> I totally you for... forgot that shit. Oh, but Brandon, it's your turn. Yeah. I'm done. Okay, so I mean, uh, mine's going to be pretty simple. I want to give a shout out to anybody who gives a fuck and goes to a show. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, every other previous band we've even played with, whether we liked you or not, we're not going to name names, but anyone that has a dream to be in a band. Yeah, and anybody who has given a shit to uh, show up to any show we've played or any show that anybody else has played, uh, kudos to you. You are trying to keep a dying scene alive, and we love you for that. Another shout I want to give out is one to my beautiful girlfriend, Katie. I know you're listening right now. Love you. pretty fucking hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then another shout out to uh, my boys in Cryptic Memories, my boys in Archaea. Michael and the boys in Hemotoxin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not sucking the dick over here. Okay. <laughs> and a big shout out to everybody that I've uh, worked with in the past year or whatever. This is new for me with the whole Devastated Records thing. It didn't work out as planned, but, you know, I'm still booking shows and I'm in it for the scene. I'm in it for the musicians. And just basically, you know. I love everything that goes on. I love the scene, and I just want to see everybody succeed around me. So that that's my thing. And, well, you're shouting out the Zay. I want to give a big shout-out to Every Time I Die, because that, that's my bag right there. I love those guys. <laughs> see, you can tell exactly how different this band is by us name-dropping uh, an extreme death metal band, punk, and whatever the fuck he just said. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, for people asking me what uh, the name of the band, they're giving the devil his due. Um, they're on Facebook, but their name is actually just the initial. GTDHD. Yeah, go to 
Yeah. <laughs> Josh, trying go, to drop names here. www.facebook.com forward slash GTDHD. Okay. Yeah, go okay. see them at the Red Hat, actually, their first show by themselves. All, it's a three piece now. It's four. It's, four it's a four piece, yeah. Joe, you were called in earlier, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. It's all right. I'm getting old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a four piece band now, and they're going to be playing at the Red Hat. It's 21 mm-hmm. and over, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yep. And that's in Concord. When, when is this again? 17th. February. February 17th. And it's actually your birthday. Yes, it is. Awesome. Yeah, yep. yeah. I'm turning the ripe old age of 492. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, I'm turning 29. I'm an old fuck. Nice. Got let's, the hairline to prove it. So no. it's your centennial birthday. <laughs> so let's let's hear more music by giving the devil his due. People, please call me if you want the tickets. Don't text me to go see Tijuana. No, you have to call, actually. The number is 415-550-0511. And that's actually going to be my four, fourth year anniversary in this show. So it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, so how about I play track number four? Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What is it called? Uh, words. <laughs> a, I don't remember <laughs> which the, one it is. Who's got a little pamphlet? Let's back up shit as we're trying to learn we the lyrics. We got the back. Oh, oh, there, oh, there, oh, there you go. You had it. You were hiding it from us. It's called The Affair. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Uh, that's one we haven't played in a while. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oldie but a goodie. I'm going to play that one. And then number six. Suit and Tie Homicide? That is That's my like favorite our best song. song. Nice. Awesome. So, and then we're going to play more metal from some of my favorite bands. And we'll be back with Giving the Devil His Due. You're listening to Mutiny Radio, the show nocturna. Oh, no. 
your friend Alex and we have given the devil his due what's awesome. up everybody <laughs> we played music by actually them we had The Affair and then we had Suit and Tie Homicide and then we had music by some of my favorite um, metal bands actually uh, we had um, Lamb of God we were just talking about them with the song um, Hourglass then I had Pantera with Walk <sighs> last but not least we had Dimension of Gore from San Jose and the, the song was called Eternal Suffering Nice. <laughs> yeah, so we were just talking about some cover songs that you're working on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, no, this is going to make it to the air. Okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> or not. <laughs> no, hell yeah. So tell me about this cover. Go for, we were uh, thinking about one of the most uh, metal uh, oh, songs that we could possibly cover. We should pull it back, start from the covers that we've already done, and move up to the, the future ones. Yeah, let's okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. What What's, covers have you done? Yeah, what, what have we done? All right, first so we, we st- did... We yes. start out with uh, Sugar. Yeah, the system of a down covers. Nice. Um, what kind of partial? Does it was um, my buddy Nick in Gravethers. His brother had passed away, and we were doing a uh, benefit show for his funeral costs. That's nice. Yeah, I thought that was a really cool idea, and he wanted everyone to do system of a down covers. So uh, in Gravethers, I did a couple, and in Give the Devil's Due, we did like three. So we wound up doing like I wound up doing like five covers that night, all system of a down. And um, Given the Devil's Due by themselves did Spiders, Sugar, and the one that we kept, Deer Dance. Like, we still do that one at shows, nice. and people love that see one. Because <laughs> every time we say, like, hey, do you like Just Move Down? Everyone's like, yeah, but they get kind of ke- like a little tentative. They, they kind think, of don't want to say that they do. They're like, oh, please do not play Chop Suey. <laughs> or Talk <Toxic. laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> then we play Deer Dance, and like, oh, everything's okay now. Yeah, everything's fine. Such a sexy song. It is. And then we uh, end, of end of heartache. heartache by, uh, uh, that was a train wreck and a half. Kill switch engage. No, it went, it went good. It's a fun it was, song. It went okay. good the first three or four times we yeah, played it. Yeah. And then it just progressively got worse. And then the la- I think the last good time that we played it was when s- the, the the singer from Scar Canvas got on. Yeah, us. yeah. We just had that like open mic, and he was like, "I am on this." He yeah. sang the entire Save song with us. Me. Inappropriate. Oh, man. Inappropriate, Rob. Inappropriate, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we, going red. <laughs> we did uh, we did end of heartache, and then what have we done? Oh, we kind of do. Um, it's not really a cover per se, but uh, we decided fun. to go ahead and throw um, push it. By Salt and Pepper. Oh, yeah. We <laughs> do a, a section from Push It in the middle of our song tribute. <laughs> yeah, right before we go into a breakdown, one of our, one of our really, really good breakdowns, uh, we don't really do a bunch because we're not really into that type of metal. Um, we, we have them strategically placed throughout our set. <laughs> strategically and, uh, placed breakdowns throughout the entire album. But right before our real big, like it actually sounds like an appropriate place to put a breakdown, we just go into the, the boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 you guys boom, dance boom, as well? Boom. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's we're us just moving up on stage, and we go straight from that into our breakdown, and it works really, really well. And then sometimes we'll throw uh, some Metalocalypse, the Thunder Horse, in there a sometimes, bit just to fuck around, just to have a good time. Horse. But uh, we've actually been thinking about uh, 
throwing some fucking Kelly Clarkson in there. Uh, <laughs> We're just you know, you progressively get getting less and less you serious. Get about more than that. It has potential to be extremely gay or extremely good. So no, We're no, going to no, make I'm it extremely good. I'm saying the gay is a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Sorry for, I'm not trying to be derogative. We, we mean the gay before the Wanda Sykes thing. Like, you know. <laughs> back when saying gay was cool. <laughs> oh my God. I want to send shout outs to the people out in Facebook um, hitting me up. Yeah, check out this band. It's called Giving the Devil His Due. Yeah, we suck. No, they don't. You gotta see them back, bro. <laughs> They're, I'm having an awesome time with them. Also, shout out to our friend um, Gerardo out in LA. He's getting, uh, he actually just got surgery. He fell off a bike. He fell off his um, is motorcycle. He a, he fell off. Is he a paper boy? No, actually, he got um, hit by a car and he fell off his bike. Oh, that's Is it a motorcycle sad. or a bike? Motorcycle. It's a motorcycle. Ouch. Just that get right sucks. back on. You'll never forget, brother. <laughs> yeah. Phone call. Take the caller. Oh, oh, the bastards hung up. I know, that sucks. That was rude. Wrong number. If you're listening yeah, right now, call us. We would love to talk to you. Yeah, we still got 15 minutes. Maybe, unless you're yeah. Neil Turbin. Then Neil Turbin. <laughs> we already talked to that, Neil Turbin. I dare that concept to Yeah, so where, um, where are you guys playing again so that people can the, come? the Red Hat in uh, Concord, nine. California. Uh, yeah. It's five, five bucks. Um, it's going to be us. Murder, formerly Murder at the Cathedral. Yep. It's and uh, talking distance. distance. It's almost yeah. like cool a cool band yeah, in Sacramento. Like, yeah, it's like a really weird rapist show almost. <laughs> like, if you think about it, like, uh, I mean, giving, the, giving the devil is Murder, dead. stalking distance. Stalking distance. <laughs> Murder. There's this band, actually, they hit me up last night, and now you're talking about it. It's, it's called uh, The Casual Rapist. <laughs> oh, I've yeah. heard them, yeah. yeah I should yeah, yeah. them over. <laughs> all crimes, all the time. No. Yeah. <laughs> that would be cool. Oh, that's creepy. I'll attend the show. <laughs> <laughs> be, oh, uh, my God. Excuse me. That was awesome. And talking about shows, we um, I have a local calendar here. Obviously, go see Given the, Given the Devil He's Due is our friend uh, Brandon's birthday. Yeah, and yeah. yeah, we're gonna have cake and all that stuff. Um, on Ooh, this, actually, I didn't what, even think of that. what am I having? <laughs> next, <laughs> next week, I'm having my friend Sancha doing a live acoustic set, and then on the 15th, remember, I'm having my fourth year anniversary show at the Elbow Room with Tijuana Noah and the Six Acts. And then on February the 20th, I have Filthy Drones. They're like, a, oh, we have a color. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. I got mail. Yay. Is this CJ? Is this CJ? It's got to be CJ. Meet me radio. Hi, this is Neil Turbin. <laughs> Hello, Neil Turbin, you cock-sucking son of a whore. I'm going to show it didn't end. Hi, CJ. Pricks, and I just set my own shit up. Wait, wait. I'm we, sorry, what was that? We can't hear you. Hold on. Hello? 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 Speak. Say words. No, Damn. I'm just kidding. It's the drummer for Outside David. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> <All right. laughs> I thought I was getting My food. hero. <laughs> What's going on? Not much. What's up, man? How you guys doing? What's up, doing pretty boss? fucking good, dude. How you doing? We're having a good night. Yeah. All right, you guys made it to the radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're special. They're a cool, a cool bunch of people. Taking steps. <laughs> This is the, hey this this dude right here is like when we were on tour we did a, a California tour back in September. I started in Nevada. Shut yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this dude right here was like the energy behind. He kept everybody going. Like him and me, I think had the highest energy levels out of everybody in the in the three bands that played. This dude is nothing but a, a, an energetic ball of. Just, I don't give Rob. a fuck. He's a ball of stuff. Me and you are the best looking And he's one of the most attractive men I've ever had in my say, entire he's life. He's a hot ball of stuff. Hey. But, uh, he, Not he's, many men could pull off a wife beater like this guy. Yeah, he <laughs> he, uh, he plays in the band uh, Broadside, and songs, he's, he's one of the most sick drummers I've ever fucking seen in my entire life. Is he single? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> fuck you, Rob! <laughs> so, how you doing, David? Doing good, man. When's he going to come out and jams with us? When do you want to jam? Uh, let's do it tomorrow. We're jamming tomorrow. I don't care. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> no, hey, uh, I've I've got you guys hooked up with the show. You guys are gonna be playing with us again huh? before uh, CJ's good riddance party. <laughs> Sound well, good? Uh, giving double of dudes coming out to uh, the Battle of the Bands for Broadside, right? Yeah. Oh, did didn't you guys just do a Battle of the Bands? Yeah, well, we're doing another one in March. We're at. Yeah, where is that? Uh, the DNA Lounge. Jesus Christ, man. Awesome. Man, why is everyone yeah, playing next to Rob? I, I want to yeah, see Rob. We're going to bring Rob up on stage with us. Oh, for sure. Cool. You're going to sing for whom the bell tolls. For whom the bell tolls. I'm down. Yeah, just let us know when and we'll, you know, we'll fucking be there. 
as of the love child of uh, Colonel Sanders and Ronald McDonald on the phone now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking base players I ever live. You know what I'm saying? I love you. What's happening, baby? So, uh, yeah. You guys ready to go on tour again? Yeah. <laughs> okay, just as soon as you guys find uh, a more handsome uh, front man than CJ, we'll get that shit going. He canceled. He's a uh, he's a full blooded uh, homosexual now. He <laughs> they, no, they got rid of the they, they, no 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 no. They, they got rid of the don't ask, in. don't tell. They, that's not a way out now. You can't get out of that. You, you know me. No, he tried hitting on one of the instructors. Oh, that's different. <laughs> that's sexual harassment. Yeah. They called a soup kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Which band is this? This is Broadside. This oh. is this is Justin, he the bass player. Them? This bass is the fucking foundation of the band, right, buddy? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nas. Nice. Now, these are, these are our buddies over in Broadside. They they went on tour with us. And actually, if it weren't for them, we would have had the one of the shittiest tours ever possibly mm-hmm. imaginable. Yeah, sleeping in our car. CJ, <laughs> CJ the, the guitarist lead singer, <laughs> actually fucking hey, pulled through some for us. For us just hooked us up with hotel rooms every single night that we were out on the road. Yeah, I don't so, know if you should tell the story. You're going to make us look like a bunch of luxurious bastards getting <laughs> hotel rooms on tour and shit. No, that, that shit worked out fucking great. Actually, I, I, I'm a pick for the record on the radio, of this. Like, I'll pay for my room. room. But snoring from the oh that was Joe. You're talking, Joe. Dude, we can hear you snoring from the other room, man. Don't talk over us. We're the, ro- we're the rock stars here tonight, okay? How pretty his hair is, dude. This guy has the nicest hair in the world. So I, uh, I love you. <laughs> okay, this conversation's going nowhere fast. Hang up, too, man. We love hey, you. I'm happy to hear that you guys are on the radio, dude. Going to Thank you. We'll see you guys soon. Yeah, that, let, let me know when you guys are able to come down, and we'll make it happen too. Hello. There you go. They and you didn't invite us next time. Right. Yeah, oh, you're they're down. They're you're more. You're come down now. You yeah. got five minutes. Yeah, we still got like oh, nine minutes. Oh, we're in San Francisco right now, man. <laughs> we'll be waiting. For Thanks for calling, we'll guys. We love you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Listen, we have like nine minutes. So how about we play one more song by you guys and then come back and say Fair our advice. farewell. Uh, pick the song. Let me see. Let me see that. I want to play Spartan. That's what I'm feeling. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's do, let's do Horse this. Tribute. Wait. Uh, no, yeah. Spartan. Do, do Spartan. We're doing Spartan? Number what eight. number is that? Number, number eight. eight. Yeah, all right. Yeah, and you're yeah, listening okay. to Mutiny Radio. This is the show Nocturna with Given the Devil He's Due. We're going to play number eight and then come Spartan back. Spartan After Party. Spartan. Yeah. Are you ready to party? And then come back. You're Spartan listening to Mutiny party. Radio.
It is our next show is February seventeenth at the Red Hat. It's eighteen twenty Monument Boulevard in Concord. It's twenty one plus, and it's also me, Brandon, the drummer. It's my birthday, nice. so come on out, get drunk, wish Bring me money. happy birthday, and <laughs> yeah, come watch a few bands: Stocking Distance and Murder, <laughs> formerly Murder at the Cathedral. Rock out and on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah, people want to know if the the um, the demo or album is available for purchase. Uh, if you, yeah, if you, want to, if you want to download it or if you want to come to the show, it depends on what you want to do. Download, you can go to uh, www.facebook or no www.givingthedevilisdue.com or uh, Reverb Nation Giving the Devil is Due. Or a direct link would be www.gtdhd dot band camp dot com cool yeah. so we're gonna say bye to our friends Brandon uh, Robert and Josh. Josh Josh I was gonna call him John I'm sorry John's close enough Let's call, call him sexy John. bitch yeah. or handsome sexy girl. no no I, I could get beat up no I'm <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out and um, talking to us. us, and it's been awesome. And you guys are always welcome to come back. Oh, we're gonna and, watch yeah. yeah, and I hope to go to the show. Hopefully, I'll, I'll get to see you guys live. Finally. That would be mm-hmm. awesome. for sure. <laughs> Look forward to that. Cool. We'll have like we'll be like, hey, thanks, Alex, for coming out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll you like for coming out tonight. <laughs> but give me a shout out. So we're gonna um, actually end the show with another song from your album. What is it called again? This this album tribute. Oh, the, the the album is called uh, The Awakening. Nice. So you pick the song and uh, the track number. Tribute. Let's go ahead and do Tribute, number nine. Nice. So yeah. this is the show Nocturna ending um, till next week. Um, so check them out. They're giving the devil his due. And this is the song Tribute. You're listening to me in your radio. Yeah.